What are you doing? All right, so this might look weird, but here's the rundown. I've got this little thing for my survival kit, which I've had for a long time, and it says inside here, it's paracord, it says inside this paracord is a fishing hook and some sort of fishing line. This lake's filled with fish, so they, they give you these survival things, thinking if you're in a survival situation, you need to be able to catch fish. So it seems wild to me, but let's give it a go, see if this hook works. I don't have any bait. Here's a rod. This is the plan. I'm thinking if there is line in here, there might not even be line in here. If there's line in here, I tie it to the end of this stick and it gives me the length, like a tankara rod. <laughs> dangle it deep enough <laughs> to get into it. So with, with that being said, let's go give it a go. First step here is to, to undo this and find, uh, find out what we've got inside. So this is a bunch of paracord, which is always useful to carry in a survival kit. It can be used for many different things. Um, you know, building shelter, tying things, repairs, things like that. But inside here, I think they said there's a fishing hook in line. If there isn't, I've been talking a lot of smack at the campsite, <laughs> you know, telling people. I got you gotta, you gotta pretend you're fishing. I'm gonna nail him, yeah. So I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to pretend I'm fishing. But no pretending if there's a hook in here, I'm going for it. Um, just gotta get this paracord unwrapped. Once it's all unwrapped, I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so now the paracord's off. We're gonna see what we got inside here. Um, it looks like, oh shit, this tin foil. That's probably actually could be useful as a fire starter. Um, but I guess this is not, <laughs> not anymore. They're not useful anymore. We've got wire. Oh yeah. Bingo. Razor so we got a blade, razor blade, very sharp. Wire. That looks like a piece of lead. Why why lead? And I've got very small trout hooks here. A needle, and this is what they gave me. They gave me a hook. But I don't see any fishing line. I've got this, which I can use, I think, as a fly. That's probably like the, the fire starter. Um, but what would I use as fishing line? Like what, unless it's wrapped up in here, I don't see anything that could be used as fishing line. A lot of this, do you see anything that's fishing line in there? So I think the line the is wire. inside the rope, which is interesting. So I think this is just tin foil. Yeah, so refl I think this is like reflective stuff. So you put it out if These you're. These are baby hooks. If you're calling the rescue. There's a needle. I mean a pin. Yeah, I'm trying not to lose any of this this stuff here. So we got a needle. That looks like a piece of oh, this is flint. So if you want to start a fire, I believe you can go like this. Don't. This way. Maybe not with that, but that's a flint striker. Is what that is. It's a very small one. Now all I have to work with is a really two really small hooks. Can you even see, pick those up on the camera. Two very small hooks, two split shots, two of these. I think the, the fishing line, I guess, this is wire and this is not fishing line. I think the fishing line's inside the uh, inside the rope here, so I'm gonna have to get cutting. Um, I'll use the knife they gave me, I guess. So after a bit of finagling, I got the paracord all straightened out. You gotta cut both ends of paracord if you're planning on using the line portion, and then you can pull the paracord right out of its holding, I believe. Yeah, that's gonna work. So paracord breaks into a bunch of different little cords and it gets really, oop, that's getting all tied up, so that's crap. Um, they get really small. So I'm gonna try and pull one out of this thing and then I'm gonna try and tie it onto a hook. Um, what I'm thinking I might as well do is like try and pull a portion of the paracord out and use this black portion as mainline, is what I'm thinking. This is kind of challenging to get this cord out of here. That's pretty good, actually. Now, if this line sinks for me. Okay, which it will, that's good. So we've got our leader here. This is pretty greasy. So we've got a leader here, basically. I don't know if the leader is gonna get pulled out. If we get a fish on and it's tugging away, I don't think anything's gonna pull out, honestly. This is pretty much cra as crazy as you can get with a fishing setup. But survival fishing 101. We're gonna tie a hook on. So what I've done is I've tied on a hook and I've made a bait loop. They give you this tinder in there, so I'm just gonna use this tinder and a fly. <laughs> That's the plan here. We're so a sour patch kid. We'll try that next. So hopefully <laughs> this fish likes brown fly. And I'm gonna tie the rest of this messy ass paracord. Uh, maybe <laughs> I can tuck some of it back in. I'm gonna tie the rest of this basically to my long line and chuck it in and put a little split shot on it. They give you swivels, but God forbid, like what do you need a swivel for? 
with uh, with this kind of setup. I don't quite understand that. But they give you little split shots. So I'll put a little split shot on here. What does that do? But it might be top water. It helps it sink. Mm. These fish might be top water. So we're gonna see here. Will it even? This thing might not even get on the. Uh, can't even open up the split shot wide enough to get on this piece of paracord. <laughs> this kit also came with some wire. I'm using the bigger knife because they're they give you a little knife, but it's kind of unsafe and it's small. So like if I was in a survival situation, I'd actually always have my normal knife anyway. So it wouldn't even I wouldn't even use it. I could use it for something different. I'm just wrapping some metal around this knot. If they give you this wire for holding stuff together, I'm gonna wrap it around kind of in a figure eight, just to give my knot some extra. Um, some extra grip there. So we're wrapping around in a figure eight, and then we are, oh, oops, a figure eight. And then we are going to hit the water with this thing and see what happens. Okay, so this is the finished product here. We've got this tied on. We've got my big old rod here, and we've got a little split <coughs> shot with, uh, with a hook and some paracord. <laughs> um, Homeless guy fishing, I think so, but let's give it a let's give it a run here. I don't see any fish in the area, so this is just so not gonna fall. The, I think the uh, the bait already fell off. Where did it go? How is it going? Um, so in a survival situation, <laughs> the only way to catch food is you're relying on this line and this hook. I would uh, I would say you're you're likely screwed. <laughs> but we'll see here. I'll mess around. It actually looks nice in the water. I put a piece of paracord on there. It looks decent in the water, so the movement's good. But I don't think I don't think I'll get close enough to a fish near the shore anyway. Um, I need to find a fish for entice it. Doesn't look so bad though. The water looks so nice. And we found that there's a little rope where we're thinking about people use after they jump in off the rocks because it's so deep here. It's really nice. James is still trying to catch a fish. We'll see. We'll see what happens if he has any luck. But yeah, it's no, it's a beautiful night. You can see the mountain and all the way over. So I've, I've spotted uh, a trout sitting down there and I've got my fly just sinking at about how an eighth of a foot every five seconds so we're waiting for it to get deep enough. It's not really a fly, I've got my piece of uh, paracord <laughs> dropping down and I'm hoping this fish likes paracord. A worm was definitely a better call. If I had a worm, he'd probably go haywire. Do you want a sour patch, kid? I'd love one. No, for the fishing oh. line. Oh my god, it was a toad, too. You're kidding me. Oh. You're oh. shitting me. I missed it. <laughs> James just had a fish on. There's no way to set that up. Really? No. Right, I threw it he's sinking just like this. Just like this. Swam up. Bam. Nailed it. I didn't set the hook. I got a lot of I got paracord and a red sour patch kit on the hook. <laughs> so like it's a small hook, so I'm pretty sure that the hook Why you do you have the sour patch? Yeah, I might have to get rid of the sour patch. What in the world he came out of nowhere. Maybe he liked the red. So, as, uh, as per the boss's orders, we are heading back to the campsite soon. I uh, got a good half hour of casting in, so that was alright. And in half hour, I got two bites. One uh, was a little nibble on, uh, on that piece of paracord. The second, I put paracord and a full Sour Patch kit, and it, it nailed it. So I had, a, I had a trout on probably 16 inches for like, might have been, it was a big boy for about eight or nine seconds, but since I had so much Sour Patch Kit on the hook, it didn't stay. But I think, um, I'm impressed. So that little kit, I was like making fun of it. How could this work? Well, paracord, hook, really hungry alpine lake. You would be able to catch fish, but to catch enough protein to feed yourself, start a fire, yada, 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 it's a lot of work. So 
unless you're really, really far in the Alaskan backcountry. I don't know if you necessarily need to be carrying um, fishing hooks and and fishing line, but that, you know what? It worked. So tomorrow I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna put in a better shift. Um, tomorrow we're hiking uh, hiking Mount Cotley. So we'll go off to bed. We're uh, well, we're gonna chill here. The view is phenomenal right now. But uh, we're gonna sit here, eat some candy, and uh, head off to bed and get ready for uh, another uh, sweet push tomorrow.